I had never seen like a specific tutorial guided just for 3D motion mm-hmm. and like the depth in which you offered. So that was like, okay, this is like, this was the calling of, um, you know, business within motion and your years of experience and your guidance in regards to just like specific 3D and animation work was like what I was looking for. The turning point, as I mentioned earlier, was the specific manner in which I was doing the LinkedIn direct messaging. So I believe that just like refining the the messaging was the best in terms of, um, you know, my specific journey mm-hmm. for getting these clients on the call. And, you know, we're talking about these prices and that was great. Today we have Richard. Um one of the members of our program and you when you joined our program you wanted to get more freelance work um it seems like what you were feeling was you know you're doing all this outreach and stuff and you're not really getting any recognition from clients uh, not really much of a response so when you joined us um, your goal was to understand the whole process of how to get clients more how to sell them reach out to them so that you can get more freelance work and uh Recently, um, this is why I'm doing the interview with you within the first eight weeks. Now it seems like you're too busy uh, to take on clients and you've got like a a couple projects in like the four or five K range, which looks like they will be going through. And um, I thought this would be super motivational for a lot of people. Um, Also, because, you know, you signed up just from Facebook ads, you had no idea who I was, you joined. And within eight weeks, um, it seems like you're getting great results and you're happy with the process. So yeah just wanted to intro you to everyone um you could start by letting all of us know um where were you before you even heard about me um and kind of what made you uh what drew you to even schedule and call with me in the first place yeah absolutely well thanks for having me on the call arthur i appreciate it um so I've got a background in 2D, 3D motion. Um, I have primarily been working full time uh, for like seven, eight years, specifically within motion. Um, And I've had numerous roles where I was also the producer. And it just kind of gets a lot. Uh, What I was really wanting to do was to increase my client engagement more and specifically um, just having conversations with clients more often and potential clients. Mm -hmm. So that way the relationship not only started, but it retained and it became a process where not only did we work together, but we are working together. So that was primarily my main goal um, as well as to uh, improve in uh, my 3d uh, process. Um, A lot of the issues that I had come to over the years were just, you know, reaching out to clients. Um, but it was almost like aimlessly where I was throwing darts with my eyes closed and I was like, all right, I'm just going to give this a go. So, uh, once I saw your ads, I was like very intrigued. Uh, I most certainly did my research and I was like, all right, this guy knows what he's talking about with 3d. And it's like, Oh wow, this guy also knows what he's talking about in terms of business. So I like, I delved into like what your program offered and like, it was great to see that there's like an algorithmic way of, you know, going through a process that there's specific steps, this, you know, these specific processes lead to this amount of, um, you know, this numerator and denominator, which leads to this numerator and denominator in terms of outreach responses, um, scheduling a call and then, uh, final, um, contract, engagement slash deposit. Um, and I think there was, there was one week in which, you know, I had like throughout my spreadsheet, I was at, I don't even know, like over a hundred people who I've reached out to maybe probably more. And, you know, I was just pretty burnt out and you were like, don't worry. Like the fact that you're feeling a little like, okay, this, this is the business side that kind of is a little boring because, you know, I'm used to just doing like all this creative stuff. That means it's working well because you had to get these numbers and your denominator side in order to get the specific small numbers in your numerator side. Mm -hmm. So just the affirmation that like it's difficult, but you're doing the right process was 
something I was looking for and it like most certainly helps. Okay, cool. Yeah, it seems like before you signed up, you know, you're doing all this outreach, but you're not really sure one, if it's going to work or what process to use. And you're kind of just like mm -hmm. doing all these random things and you're not even sure, you know, if you'll get a result or what results you should look for. It's just like you just so much uncertainty and just like can be like very confusing. And what helped with you a lot is just having more of a process to actually work towards and just knowing like, hey, even if you're doing outreach and sometimes it's difficult, you know, it's not very interesting for a lot of 3D artists, but you know, it's, it's what you have to do. If you don't do anything, no one's going to knock on your door saying, hey, I'm looking for 3D artists. Um, and, right. But just knowing that, hey, I'm working towards something. If something is not really working, we can figure out exactly what it is. We can improve it. We can improve it and make the process better. Just that is kind of what pushes you through those tough yeah. times. And obviously it's, I found for so many people, it's just knowing that they're going in the right direction is what they, yeah. is what helps them, you know, push forward and, and what helps them uh, move on to the next stage. Um, but when you're kind of like not sure and you're uncertain and stuff, that's kind of where you're mm. like, you're not, you, you know, you don't really want to put in the tough work that's needed to run an online Right, business. right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's like going on a hiking trail that's like 12 miles long and you're wondering if you have, you know, made the wrong turn, if you're indeed going the right way to the beautiful yeah. waterfall view that you are going to, you know, enjoy. Yeah. I think there is specifically like a breaking point, um, or like a turning point and a aha moment in regards to like calibrating the specific messaging in which you, uh, helped me finally tweak in regards to like doing the pull or doing the push method in terms of direct client outreach was I think the turning point in regards to um, more individuals responding to my LinkedIn messages that were, you know, um, instrumental in getting uh, individuals to engage with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was interesting because it works more towards your personality as well. <laughs> So just yeah. Out. Yeah. No, I definitely found that. Yeah. 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 I think that's like part of the thing where it was like, like it, like that definitely helped me realize like, okay, like you still be yourself just like, it's just definitely like more of a virtual format where mm -hmm. you are, you know, you're not seeing these people in person, which, you know, I'd much rather just like walk up to them if it was like at a setting in which I heard that they do this and, you know, I can tell them I do this and, you know, we can help one another, but being that it's LinkedIn, you know, you can only rely on the messaging. So like mm. being able to like finally tune that was helpful and it felt, you know, genuine for my personality as well. Yeah. Well, you can find a way of selling yourself while still being you not having to, you know, right. an yeah. persona or feel like sleazy in any way. Yeah. 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 I think we all really, yeah. Would like not to be that, uh, sleazy yeah. salesperson <laughs> that, you know, <laughs> you know, selling overpriced coffins or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, and you know, you, you obviously, you saw me completely from Facebook ads. You didn't really follow me on YouTube, um, for years or anything like that. So what was it that made you feel like, okay, like I'm actually going to, sign up for this and give it a try. Yeah. So I'd like, it was definitely, it was the title of your, um, title of your post. It was like, get more 3d clients. So it was, yeah. Like, I mean, there was the want right there. There was the engagement and then there was the program. So that was helpful. It was like, okay, cool. This isn't just going to be like a, a two hour video that I download mm -hmm. in which I'm like, okay, um, well watch that. Um, I guess I'll put this in process. It became, um, a weekly coaching call in which I got to ask you questions that arose since the last call, mm -hmm. or it was you having the agenda of, all right, I'm going to hold you accountable for this. You need to do this. And then if you don't, then the call is like next week, it's, um, mm -hmm. it's going to be moved. So the, yeah, like the program was definitely something I was looking for because I had definitely been looking for the opportunity to get more clients. Um, but I feel felt I was missing that education, that coaching. Um, and 
Yeah. Like I watched a number of your YouTube videos and I was like, Oh yeah. Like this tutorial was absolutely helpful or like um, this, this tidbit of information was like a great insight in regards to the client engagement. So that's when I scheduled um, our uh, first session together and just to get an idea as to like if we would work well with one another. Mm. Okay. So for you, it wasn't just like, you know, there's a lot of courses where they just give you 50 videos of like little techniques of how to do different things. You were looking for more of like, hey, like the accountability um, and also guidance of like, hey, like go do this. Now you're accountable to them. Now you go do them. And also just getting like more feedback and direction in terms of like, hey, you're doing the right things. Maybe I should, maybe you should tweak this and give that a try. Um, that's kind of the process that you're looking for uh, when it comes to getting more clients. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And because I'm self-taught, there's just been a lot of, you know, um, learn by error within my, like yeah. my past. And sometimes, you know, that's great, but it's also great for someone to be like, Hey, why don't you do this? Because like learn from my air or learn from my guidance, which is, you know, more direct in terms of saving time than waiting a week or two or however long to find out that, mm. um, you know, learn from your own air. Um, yeah, the, uh, I think the guidance of the community is always helpful in terms of just like getting a different set of eyes after you've worked on a project for like 12 hours and you're completely glazed over because you haven't seen anything else. So yeah, multiple perspectives is just definitely a great way of helping your own progress um, as well as the progress of others, because then they learn from whatever you're learning yourself. Okay. Interesting. So that's kind of what you felt like you were um, missing from, you know, all of like free tutorials and stuff like that. Yeah. And I had never seen like a specific tutorial guided just for 3D motion mm -hmm. and like the depth in which you offered. So that was like, okay, this is like, this was the calling of, um, you know, business within motion and your years of experience and your, um, your guidance in regards to just like specific 3d and animation work was mm -hmm. like what I was looking for. Like I wanted to, you know, had I met you at a bar at the beginning, like of a night, I'd be like, Oh, I want to talk to this guy for like an hour or two. Let me buy him a drink. So that way like, I can get as much info from his, you know, his wisdom as I could, um, getting the program was, um, it was just an ideal way of learning in regards to getting more clients specifically yeah. for 3d. Yeah. And it's just much faster. As you mentioned, you know, self-taught you're learning by error, uh, can take you for, you know, just forever. Just this is mm -hmm. very common for a lot of people they have to lose a certain amount of projects until there's enough pain for them to feel like, okay, I should probably get help from this. And you were kind of yeah. like, Hey, let me just learn this a lot faster and have someone just tell me what I should be doing. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, a, yeah. I, I, like I put in many, many hours specifically like within 2d and like I've gotten quite well with that. Uh, but it took quite a bit of hours of just like self-learning and self messing up and you know those wonderful awful moments uh you know major minor details that are your learning points um but yeah like i'll always opt for like um getting guidance for someone who can be like hey can i show you this real quickly like yes please show me this real quickly so that way i don't have to spend four days mm -hmm. okay Cool. And what do you feel like was the, like the biggest, um, what was like the big change for you that were allowed you to now, you know, you've got this a uh, couple of projects in like the four or five K range. Um, mm -hmm. Like what was the big moment that allowed you to get to this point where, you know, at the start, you know, not even that long ago, eight weeks is not a long time. You know, you, you, you're signing up to a program because you want to get more freelance work. Now you just feel like you just don't have enough time. We, we were just talking about, it's time to increase your prices because, <laughs> uh, 
you you literally don't have much more time on your hands. Um, yeah, yeah. So I I think um, the turning point, as I mentioned earlier, was the specific manner in which I was doing the LinkedIn direct messaging. So calibrating that for my own personality was definitely and and, and you know efficiency of going through hundreds of messages was more ideal for like, you know, getting there faster, but also engaging, establishing rapport. And I felt more like, okay, here we go. We're going to get what we want and what we need. Um, Mm -hmm. once that was calibrated. So I believe that just like refining the, the messaging was the best in terms of, um, you know, my specific journey mm. for getting these clients on the call. And, you know, we're talking about these prices and that was great. Okay, cool. Is there anything in the program that um, you were, you weren't expecting or surprised by? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think that, I mean, like the community was, uh, like a great surprise to just, you know, as soon as I, uh, joined, I got like a number of direct messages that was like, Hey, how are you? This is where I am in the world. This is where I am at in my 3d process. What are you doing? Being able to talk to and meet new people and see their current projects was great. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, that was wonderful. Um, the in-depth of your, uh, videos, um, in regards to the different pillars, that was wonderful. And I think just like the established set of like, um, like within the pillars, like, all right, this is what I am presenting to you. Just work on these, um, and, you know, get better. And if you just continue to improve within these specific parameters, that's the hard work and, you know, the payout will come at the end of it. So yeah. just like the affirmation of, you know, just do it and you're good. Um, but also just like, you know, this is the road. It's not going to always be easy, but if you just continue on it, that will be like, that will lead you to where you want to be within your 3d process. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Cause there's a lot of people like you that, um, you know, it's not always easy, but you just need to do the things that you do, but then they get the clients and they get the results. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to do that whether or not you're getting guidance or, or doing it on your own anyway. So mm-hmm. <laughs> might as well do it that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's interesting which you're mentioning also about like the whole community aspect, what I've tried to do to now turn it into like a mastermind where you just have like high level, um, people in the program that are also trying to do the same thing as you. And obviously it's just nice to make friends and network with people and have this community feeling of other people and everyone's growing together rather than you just, you know, just join and you're just on this forum and you still just kind of, yeah, you're on your own, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, like, it's great to see what other people are working at, uh, working on and, Mm-hmm. You know, while you're working on your own projects, if, you know, you've got something that you've been, whether that be like lighting or like particular maps or textures, like you can see like that was kind of like not what I was looking for, but this person like I feel could help me and, you know, the specific task I'm trying to establish. And you could just message them like, hey, that looks great. Like, how did you uh, get that lighting set up? Like, how did you get those normals to work this way? Um can we have on a call real quick? And mm. like, can we work this through? Can you help me <laughs> help? Yeah. It's very collaborative. Everyone's just helping. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. And what do you feel like is, um, next for you? Uh, cause you know, you've got like, you're just drowning in projects. Um, <laughs> do you want to get more or <laughs> what do you feel like is the next steps for you? Yeah. So I definitely want to keep it consistent. Um, And I think that's where the balance is going to come into play. So that's where, you know, I was talking to a colleague recently and um, I don't think it is the, um, you know, projects can be very challenging, but sometimes like the hardest part is not just like doing the work and showing up and doing it, but it is continuing on balancing that artist and business 
that is, yeah. you know, I didn't go to school for, you know, an MBA artist combo type of degree. So this is the new part where it's like also uncomfortable and I've got to spend time doing some of those spreadsheet stuff so that way <laughs> yeah. I can spreadsheet stuff, right? That's official. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, like I've got to do some of that business admin so that way I can continue to do the gratifying artwork that mm. continues. Um, and, you know, there's not only a surplus of work, but there's also a demand for me. Yeah, it's funny. So many people are just trying to get clients, but not many people um, outside of this program are in your position where they are getting clients and now it's about maintaining the business and keeping it consistent. Mm -hmm. Because what often happens with people, you know, they get all these projects, they're full, they're busy, they do all that stuff and then they just wait until things dry out and then it gets dry. And then it's just this up and down of, you know, getting clients, busy, yeah. busy, don't have time for anything else. And then those clients and this project start to fall off, they start to pull out and then they're back again and they don't know how to maintain it. That's actually something we're going to go over the next call where, you know, you're getting all these projects, but you need to keep getting them in and you can schedule time. It doesn't have to be yeah. all day. You can do this 10 minutes a day and just keep getting more leads. And then you increase your prices um, as you're going along because then you can still um, do more and more of these projects. Because like imagine, you know, this one, like let's just say it's like four, 4K and a 5K project. Those are big projects mm -hmm. and it's going to take you a lot of time. But if you're able to charge more, the same projects that's how you get to like 5k a month 10k a month doing these 3d projects and not being overwhelmed as i told you right. to hire people that's not what i recommend um just increase your prices and just keep getting consistent needs and that's how you make like 10k a month doing 3d work and keeping a consistent monthly basis Correct. business rather than this up one month and then down one month and it's inconsistent yeah you know? um Absolutely. And I think that's where, you know, it is, it's both gratifying to like learn that this is the right process. Congratulations. You're doing it. Pat yourself on the back, but it's also like, okay, this is the new challenging part where you got it, but you got to keep it. So you have to continue to do, uh, both of these, but also you have the new role of balancing and it's, it's, you know, you have to adapt as you continue to take on more, uh, in terms of, um, the demand of you, uh, and, um, set yourself up for not only the now, but, um, and like the future. Yeah. If you want to keep, keep growing, you need to evolve <laughs> pretty much. Um, mm. especially if you, you know, the person that makes, if you're making zero money from 3d, the person that you are now are now is not the person you need to be in order to make like five right. five k a month, ten k a month. You need to change your behaviors, you know, and the actions that you're taking. But there are methods, you know, to to keep doing these three D projects and getting clients without it having to be like this constant hustle for you to do every month. Right. You know, there's advertising, there's all sorts of methods, and as your work gets better, as your client relationships improve, more of them will just keep coming back to you, and you can start to exclude the competition. Um, so you don't have to always find the next client. You know, you'll just have deals, yeah. deals signed for the next six months or whatever. And that, that gives you the stability as well. Um, yeah, I can't wait for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. But yeah, I just wanted to have you on this call. I'm not sure if there's uh, anything else that... Um, I'm not sure. Like, let's say you were talking to Richard from eight weeks ago. You just saw me on a Facebook oh, wow. ad. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say to him um, if he was thinking about... Um, possibly signing up and being part of the community. I'd be like, all right, um, Arthur's in a different time zone. So you're going to be waking up really early, but it's going to be a great way to start your day in terms yeah, of productivity. From the US. <laughs> I am from the U S yeah. Um, no, I'm a naturally waking up early. So this was a great way to just like hop on the call and be like, okay, cool. Like let's get the coffee. Let's get the focus. Let's, let's, let's do this. And I think we scheduled it Mondays. So like mm -hmm. Monday at 6 AM, I was like, all right, here, you can do the rest of the week. If you can wake up for this. Yeah. I would definitely tell myself like, Hey, this is going to like, this is going to fill in some of those, um, those blank spots of, you know, the information you don't have in terms of the business that 
you want to achieve. This is going to allow you to learn from someone else's experience, uh, specifically like even like in the nitty gritty part where, um, you know, you relay which, what, what, what a client call was, uh, and you described, you know, the way, um, you describe the way you ask a question and you gave me guidance so of like, Oh, that's like, that's a nice way of asking, you, you know, it would be a really good way to get a different perspective would be asking these specific subsets of questions. Why don't you like, why didn't you delve deeper in, um, asking, you know, these particular questions? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think I would also tell myself that, um, that being able to have you on the call and uh, being able to ask questions that, you know, I've always wanted answered or like there were no stupid questions. Um, that was, that was very helpful or something I thought would be stupid was actually a great question. Mm. Um, so just getting a myriad of, um, of perspectives from you in regards to your past experience with dealing with, your own client calls. And, you know, you'd mentioned your notebook was filled with notes. Um, that was great. Uh, so that way I could, you know, know what to expect in the future, but also, you know, get coaching on the way I handled a pitch. Mm. Yeah. All of that stuff just helps you get to your goals faster and not Mm. have to make the mistakes yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, great to have you. Uh, glad you're doing very well. Yeah. And Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Thanks for uh, doing this with me.